with all the fanfare of a spectacle that's not in doubt, medals are unveiled. The torch is paraded. But with just 37 days to the opening ceremonies, Japan is struggling to bring a fourth wave of COVID under control. Much of the country remains in a prolonged state of emergency. And its vaccination rate lags far behind any other G7 country, some 14 percent versus Canada's 65 percent, who have at least one shot. It's vaccination. Experts now wonder whether Japan wasted the past year when it could have done more. If Japan could have eliminated COVID now and vaccination are being rolled out with massive testing, uh, the, the answer could have been yes. In Britain, Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga said he has the support of G7 leaders to go ahead with the games. He insists they will be safe with foreign spectators, maybe even local fans, banned. Cancelling these games could cost more than $22 billion. And some say Japan would lose face. But public opinion is not convinced the games should go ahead, with polls showing roughly half of Japanese opposed. Human life is more precious than the Olympics, she says. They should be cancelled. That seems unlikely, as Australian softball players and other athletes have already started arriving, and Olympic organizers insist they won't be calling off the games. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Toronto.